Right there guys, um, we're here at Virac and I've got uh, Tom here and um, we're going to have a look at a couple of rifles. Um, what we got first off I think is the HW110. Now I've had a quick look at this at an RFD but I don't know too much about it. And then I think we're going to also look at the new 100 bullpup that uh, Virac have brought out as well. So uh, Tom, do you want to just sort of walk us through that and I'll just prompt you with some questions as well? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Obviously this is the HW110. It's now been on the go for around about three years. Yep. Fast and become one of our biggest selling rifles. In terms of PPP wise, it's exactly what you expect from a Virac comes with complete with moderator, two 14 shot mags. Now, the one thing what you've got with this over the HW100 is that it's lighter and it's a bit more rough and ready, really. Yeah, got... I picked that up. There's a whole load of plastic going on there. Can you explain that? How that was... exactly? Yeah, so instead of having like a two piece metal action like you have on the 100, yep. this has got one piece polymer ballistic action instead, yep. and everything's been condensed down. Now, also, what and with the 100, you had a removable cylinder. Now, one way to help make this even shorter and lighter is the seven hundred removable cylinder is all complete in here, so you've got your valve housing all together, yep. just help make things smaller, lighter, more manageable. Yeah. Now, with the stock as well, it's a beach stock with a soft touch rubber finish to it as well. Oh, so that's actually wood underneath there, isn't Wood that? underneath this, oh, yeah. Right, okay. yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah. And also, you've also got the Picatinny rail on the top here as well. Yeah. And with the new carbine version, which came out last year, there's also a small mount underneath there, ready for bipods. So things oh, so we've actually thing. got two versions of this, the full length versions. and then the carbine shorter version. That's right, yes. And are we 17722? 1722. So in the full length one like this one, yep. looking around about 130 shots in a 2.2 caliber. That's quite reasonable. For yeah, a yeah, small rifle. Yep. Yeah. And 110 shots in 177. Yep. For the carbine, half that. So you're looking around about 55 shots in a 177. Yeah. About 65, 70 in a 2.2. Excellent, excellent. That's a really nice one. We've got the side lever here on here as well. Side so. lever as well, yeah. So I really loved that 100. It was just, it's, the 100 has got the lever on oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seamless lever. Very, yep. very similar to the 100. Yep. Good thing about this one as well is, though, is for people who are left handed, I would rather have the cocking arm on the other side. It can be requested, we can change out the factory, have that swapped over for yourself as well. Absolutely brilliant, it's really nice. And see, um, the moderator comes standard with it all, is that all built Standard in? moderator, and as most people agree, that the Virac moderator is one of the best ones out there. It's always between them ones, and uh, and uh, the Huggets, it's it, usually it's, them two up the top, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. The Huggets sometimes got that little smaller edge to it sometimes, yeah. but in terms of quietness, that is just spot Yeah, on, they're really. absolutely brilliant. And um, these obviously are available now because they've been out for about three years. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Ready available, like I say, you've got the full length one, you've got the carbine one. Yep. And to, to kind of top off the whole 110 family, you've also got the 44 pistol as well, which is exactly the same action as well. Awesome. Hi there, guys. We're at um, Edgun. Um, I think this is the first time you've showed in the UK. Is that correct? Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, that's the first time for myself to be in the UK also. Awesome. Well, welcome to the UK. And you are Mr. Ed. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> so, do you want to just um, show us the rifle that we got here? Because we've had a look at the Lee Shi before, and I absolutely love that rifle. Very, very unique. So, what have we got here? And can you just talk us through the main features and what makes it unique okay um, this is Lela it's based on the uh, it's built on the base of the Matador but it's shorter the barrel length at 377 millimeters caliber from 4.5 up to 6.35 uh, it's multi-shot and uh, it has the front cocking on both sides so uh, it's good for both for left hand left hand and right, and, yep. uh, right hand shooters yep and uh, quite effective moderator the uh, digital Ah, uh, you put the digital in there, like yeah. on the Lishi with the, yeah. the second generation Lishi, you could get them with and, the digital. Uh, yeah. we, we changed the gauge a little bit, we changed the software and uh -huh. hardware, so it became uh, much better. And now we have the tick piece with a neoprene, which is very good for the cold circumstances. Oh, yeah, yes. And uh, the safety is uh, blocking the hammer, not the trigger, so it's completely safe even if you drop the gun, the hammer is blocked and uh, there is no accident shot. That's quite a nice way of doing yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's very uh, short uh, but powerful like a normal rifle yep. and it's uh, the shape of the stock is very good for freehand shooting and uh, and what, what calipers can we get this in? You can get them in 17722 and is it interchangeable? No, uh, the caliber, just, yeah. uh, you can order the caliber from yep. uh, 177 up to 0.25. Wow, okay. So three calibers, yep. uh, 22, 25 and 177. Yep. Okay, and uh, how many shots is the magazine on there? Uh, depends on the energy, but yep. that's, uh, that's uh, that I'll tell you the truth, it's difficult for me to uh, to calculate the count of shots uh, for your UK below 12. Uh, yeah, so. And I, I, yeah. For, I just tell you for example, in a full energy in caliber 25, it yeah. gives uh, at least three full magazines that makes. Uh, 
30, 30 shots. And what, what foot pound is that running at in that uh, full caliber? In 25 caliber, it uh, makes about 45, 60 40. joules. Wow. Uh, it's about uh, 50 pounds. 50, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, so I can so I can do some rough calculations there. You're probably looking in a 177 sub 12 foot pound. Probably well, uh, 150. Sub 12 to and 177, yeah. you'll get an yeah. almost number. 150, <laughs> 150 to 200 easily. Yeah, I can do the rough calculations on that. So um, it's very unique with the, the short. So how far back does this barrel actually come? Because obviously yeah, the, the barrel, the barrel uh, goes from the magazine up to the beginning of the silence. Yeah, and, and can you swap the barrels out and put a different barrel in it, like the uh, leash? That's very easy. Uh, you can uh, uh, just one screw, take off the bridge and take off the uh, the silencer, and you have the access to the uh, bridge uh, yep. to clean it. But you cannot uh, uh, replace the breeches like at Leshi yep. because you need to replace the, uh, the barrels because you need to replace the breeches yep. because the breeches for the definite caliber is. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Excellent on there. And uh, looks really, really nice. And what sort of stocks do you get with this? Because obviously with the Leshi, we just or just take some pictures in a bit. With the Leshi, we get a whole load of lot of colors. What what stocks do you get well, with this? Uh, we offer walnut stocks, which now yep. are made in Czech Republic, and the quality of the walnut is yep. just perfect. And we, time to time, we can offer laminated stocks, but right. the, it's quite rare because uh, it uh, it gives me some problem to make them because yeah. you never know what color the customer will prefer. Absolutely. So, okay, that's really good. Well, really nice to meet you there, Ed. Yeah, thank um, you very welcome much. to UK. I hope you enjoy the show, yeah, the rest yeah, of the show. Yeah, and really um, I'm definitely going to have to get hold of one of these ones to have a play with it. You can it. talk with Graham. That's my UK <laughs> dealer. And, yep, uh, we can do and, that. Uh, yes, thank you. you thank you. Really good to meet you. Yeah, thank nice. you, guys. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Appreciate it. Hello guys, uh, we're here at uh, Night Sight. We saw Night Sight at the British Shooting Show yep. and we saw some of the uh, prototype products there, but this is totally new to me. Um, so we've got Taz here from Night Sight. Yep. Um, do you want to just explain to me what this bad boy is? Yeah, so we've got a few different uh, types. So this is a dedicated thermal scope. Uh, so you've got two different models, a 35mm lens and a 50mm. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, dedicated scope, mount straight on there. Uh, you've got a 384 by 288 uh, thermal sensor, mm -hmm. uh, detection range of up to 1800 meters. That's quite one. a distance, huh? yeah. Quite a bit, it's going to be 
everything you need yep. when you're out. Um, you've got your, your rear focus here just to get your crosshairs on the scope and everything clear. Yep. And then a front uh, focus on there as well. Super compact, really lightweight. And how's this, how's this bad boy powered? Uh, so it's a CR123 batteries that just fit into here. Um, yep. The company we're um, importing it from are developing their own lithium battery pack as well. So you'll eventually be able to recharge this up yeah, as well. Yeah. So, so at the can, moment, batteries in, but yeah. yeah. You can buy rechargeable ones, but they're doing yeah. their own pack, uh, so you can just add that straight in there. Absolutely fantastic. So um, are these uh, available soon? Uh, so from the 1st of July is when they're going to be available. Okay. Um, so they'll be available in, in all good retailers. Yeah. And okay, and um, just very quickly again, the two models that you're offering on that? Uh, yeah, so it's called the Oracle. So yep. it's the Oracle 35 and the Oracle 50 are the two yeah. different models. Do you know, I, I've, that is a real, I thought when I first saw that it was plastic, I was surprised how yeah. light it is. Do you so, know how much it weighs? Um, so the, the 35 model is ever so slightly uh, yeah. light in this one. So the 35 model is 600 grams. Uh, this one's, uh, I think, 700. That's stupidly light. For, for so, thermal, that's yeah. very you've light. You've got the mount on top, so it'll be, it'll be about a kilo uh, once the, the mount and everything's on. But yeah, super light. And of course, the benefits of thermal is that you don't need IR torch or anything like that. No need it's for any switch it on. Illumination, yeah. And see the heat. Yeah, go. awesome. And what resolution does that heat go up and down to? Uh, so the the sensor resolution is 384 by 288. Yeah. And then the, it's an AMOLED screen, which is a 1024 by 768, I think. So it e easily, um, w easily viewable and identify the heat signatures from a couple of degrees, the usual yeah. stuff that you get on the hype. Absolutely hikes. fine, yeah. Awesome. Uh, really, really good. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing them uh, yep. when they really come out and uh, no, be having no. a play with one of them. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, so we've made ourselves away to uh, down to Day State here, and uh, no show would be a show without Tony. Uh, so we're the last one on the list, are we? Last <laughs> one on the list, I'm afraid, mate. Um, <laughs> that's definitely last one. But um, you've been hiding this one from me. I thought I'd um, found out about everything that you got for this year, but obviously yeah. not. So, so you have to have some secret somewhere, don't you? Definitely that's, some secret. Yeah. So what have we got here? I can see it's called the Brocock Concept Light. So just walk us through it, Tony. Where's it come from, etc. All right. So we've got a couple of things going on here. First of all, we've got the Bro Brocock Concept Light which is a, a concept, as the name implies, mm -hmm. uh, rifle, which we originally showed for the first time at the German show in IWA, just to get some feedback from our dealers, who we only see once a year, yep. uh, what, they, what they wanted and what was going to be done for the following 12 months. Yep. Uh, we showed it to them, they loved it, and we were really looking for feedback if they wanted anything changing. And we got one or two bits of feedback, but yep. not, they really kind of liked what they saw. So I thought we'd bring it along to the Northern Shooting Show yep. and show it to the good folk here and see what they thought of it. And they seem to like it too. So if I run you through it, Go for it. what you've got is really a Compato chassis, which is you know a, a uni uh, adaptable chassis anyway. Yep. With the air cylinder here, this is a 150 cc air cylinder. Fairly small, then. Isn't That's it? exactly yeah. right. Yeah. This is fitted with a new type of humor air regulator. Okay. Now, I can't tell you much more about that. I don't know, but <laughs> but I do know that it's a new type of humor air regulator in there. Yeah. And it's got it's some new valving, which is coming from another gun coming out from Brocock next year. Oh, no, what's so, yeah, we're not going to know about that one today, but <laughs> but I'm going to tell you it's got the valving in it. Right. So we've got this new valving, a new regulator system in this um, chassis, and then we've added an aluminium um, front fore end. Mm -hmm. We've added the uh, um, AK grip from the commander and so the pulsar. We, we've got pick rails all over Picatinny this. Picatinny everywhere. All you know? over it, yeah, wherever so you want it. They're all very military looking. Yeah. So you can attach bits and pieces, bipods, bipods support, et cetera, talking, yeah. So that we've also added um, a, an AR back end so we have an adjustable this is really going down well um, that you can have a short but shooting in a car a junior shot yeah uh, somebody like me you yeah. know um, and <laughs> yeah or you can have a honey monster length you know so you've got a full length rifle yeah um, but it also that's quite useful when you've got something interesting going on in the scope department and what's going on here is a prismatic now we did. To, uh, we, we can show you around on the other side. Yeah. A 12 to 50 prismatic. Okay. This is a 10 to uh, 30. So 30 mil objective lens, 10 magnification. That's yeah. pretty smart. It's 10. And you little scope like that, one and a half, maybe two, maybe four on yeah. a good day. This is 10, fixed 10. Yeah, okay. But we also fixed it to our zero eye relief, which we use on the Viper Connects. Mm -hmm. What that does is, you can imagine holding a toilet roll out at arms 
length. You'd yeah. only see so much. I'm not saying you should hold a toilet roll, I think. <laughs> but if you did, yeah. you would see a small image through the roll. Yeah. You bring that toilet roll closer to your eye, you open up the field of view. Yeah. That's exactly what we've done here. So you've got a decent field of view, small so scope. Small scope, yeah. high magnification for hunting, yeah. Yeah, but a field of view that you can actually see what's going on okay. in a tiny little 300 gram package. So, yeah. yeah. That's interesting, very yeah. interesting on that. And also what we got on the top here is dovetail on here, so we could... So, uh, yeah, so now you can fit uh, your thermal imagery which you have in your cupboard at home, yeah. you know, that you can put on there, or a night sight, or, you know, you can put stuff on the front as well if you wanted to. Yeah. But that's for the future, really. This gives you a wide field of view, super light scope, wide angle, nice. on this really light rifle. We're talking of, you know, 3.7 kilos, the whole lot. That's pretty, so, that's, you know, pretty, that's pretty, eight and a half pretty, pounds. That's pretty yeah. light, that yeah. is. And um, obviously we're looking at uh, 17722 variants 17722. This particular one's a 2.5 development rifle. Yep. Uh, the development rifles are doing 40 foot pounds. Would you yep. believe a little gun like this at 40 foot pounds? So, you know, 40 foot pound in 2.5. UK market, 17722, 12 foot pounds. Yeah, all, all the usual variants on that. That's well, right. It does look actually very nice and very unusual. Yeah. Um, very sort of stripped down. It is, isn't it? Comes out. Yeah. yeah so Easy to carry. Uh, easy to use, massive shot count, you know, yep. well over 100, in 177 probably well over 150 shots, maybe even touching 200, but we haven't done the 12 foot pound versions yet, right. but I there we go. Have to steal one off you sometime soon. No che problem at all. Cheers Tony. Cheers. Bye. Hi there guys, so we're back again with Tom over at uh, Virac and I saw this rifle down at the British shooting show and unfortunately didn't get a chance to take a look at it. So what we've got here, and I've got to get this right now because I'm bound to get it right, wrong, it's the HW100 but it's the bullpup version. So Tom, do you want to just walk us through this because this is brand new almost? Well, yeah, yeah, brand new. I mean, uh, as of right now, it's not even in the shops just yet because Virac is still perfecting it. However, yep. obviously the 100 bullpup, now it's a 100 but with some slight modifications to it. So obviously like it's typical bullpup, Pop. The trigger unit is at the back there, yep. and then you've also now got obviously the shot stock on there as well. Safety catch right at the back here as well. Okay. Now, one of the big selling points for this for the first time ever, the 100 is now going to be available in left hand or right hand cocking, yep. which we had specified direct from Virac. But with the way the new systems worked, yeah, as you can see here, this is a typical 100 action, but they've sliced off the top, put this Picatinny rail on there, and got a new cocking arm on here, complete with biathlon cocking as well, which is a lot of people have been crying out for. Yes. Just to make the ease of cocking and everything. Else. Yeah, I remember when the old days, when the first ball pops came out, the cocking handles were up here, and now they've all migrated forward. Yeah, I mean, one thing people were saying about was is that what's good about this is it doesn't look like a typical ball pop. So when you're cocking it, you're not poking yourself in the eye or anything else like that, really. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, with the safety catch as well on both sides as well, depending on what side you want to have it cocked as well. Yep. Adjustable butt pad to it. Now the interesting thing is this pistol grip here. It might look a bit familiar. This is the same one as the 44 pistol. Oh, I recognised it. Yeah. Yeah. Virac have seemed to have like taken some bits from this gun here and this gun here, and some have made the fantastic bit. Of Sometimes kitchen. it's the best way to do it. If it works, why not? It is indeed. Yeah. Also taking a page out the 110 carbine as well. That's okay. nice to see. That's very nice to see. I wish every rifle came like that yeah. as an option, but at least so then you're not having to drill or anything. It's done for you. Exactly. Plus it's only held in by a couple of screws as well. So. Oh, so that can actually that. just be taken straight off. Take off, just put the screws back, I'll just put something blank in there, see so it yeah. off. Again, like the 110 as well, this is a soft touch stock as well, so you've got your beat stock under there. So it's wood with this one, like the 110, it's wood underneath it as exactly. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it, otherwise though, it's just based on the Trident Test 100 really. 240 shot magazines and the silencer in the box are standard, removable cylinder, however major differences are obviously on Picatinny rail really on the top here as well, being a, being a big player. So big question is, is when can we get our hands on these? <laughs> Hopefully end of June is when we're hoping to have these in. We'll Sorry. be having both full length and carbine as well. This is the full yeah. length one, so obviously the carbine one's even shorter. Oh, carbine's even how much shorter? Are you looking at 100 mil shorter on that? Wow, that's quite a bit actually. Yes. On there. And again, we've got the full Virac uh, modifiers, uh, moderators on there, everything else on there. So yeah. that's looking, yeah, that's looking really, really nice on there. And um, rough sort of price we're looking at? Uh, rough sort of price, we're looking at about 1,140 is recommended retail price. Smack in the middle. Really. That, yeah, yeah. Yes, I mean, we're looking at price things like that. Obviously, you look at some bull pops, you're looking towards the 2,000 pound mark. We think this yep. is fairly priced. And again, it's just based on an action what proves it works. And what sort of shot count are we similar to the 110 shot Similar count? to the 110, really. So a full length one, you'll be looking about 140 shots in a 22 caliber, 110 in a yeah, 177, and about half that for the caliber. Well, I'll version. definitely have to try and get hold of one of these because I love the bull pops. Um, I started off really early with the with the crickets, and then I moved on to other yeah. ones, and definitely I'd really like to look at that. So yeah. thank you very much, Tom. No worries, thank you very much. Awesome. Cheers, mate. Cheers, panel.